Hey there guys, today we're gonna go to the movie world and we're gonna review some vid- Oh, come on! Hello everybody, this is Nua Once, and I was almost finished recording my tank of a video for this week when I got a notification that VRChat was streaming. They've added so much more! They've- they've bared it all! In their own words, to show you everything they have planned. And of course I'm gonna just have to throw away my previous video just to do this instead, so I'll keep it for next week! Thank you, VR- Hello again, this is Nuance, and today we're going over the future plans for VRChat. As they state themselves, not all of these will end up going live the way we see them, as well as these will be sent out at different times. Don't expect them to appear overnight, you're gonna have to suffer with me waiting for the updates that are coming for all of us. Now this video is gonna be a very quick overview on what VRChat covered. If you want more details, I recommend watching their stream. This will be going in the same order that their stream went in, so if you wanna find more information about a certain thing that I've talked about, you can go ahead and just use this as kind of a guideline. With that, let's get started. First off, we have VRChat Plus with Oculus and VRChat Gifting. You are now able to gift VRChat Plus to other users if you'd like. Secondly, we have a status page on VRChat.com. Why wasn't it there before? I don't know, but it's there now, so look at that. Thirdly, they're planning on fixing the audio bug, the social menu bug, and the loading bug. If your loading bug is stuck at 50 FPS, avatar's not loading, world's not loading, you're stuck in a world, all that goes into the final bug. Fixes before new features. Don't expect anything until these fixes are taken care of. Number four, new UI menus in the world works being added on bit by bit. The menu is much cleaner and has wings on each side, saving you mostly check tabs. World creators customize player UI menus to match the aesthetic with quick tabs for teleporters, player stats, game mechanics, etc. New type of player dynamics that are more optimized than dynamic bones. These bones can also be interactive for other players to touch your dynamics. These can also be frozen in place. Hands and fingers will have all the colliders added automatically that can work on any SDK2 or SDK3 model. There is talk about making them auto replace dynamic bones, but not confirmed. You also have animations that react towards whatever specific part is touched. This new system is expected to work 10 times better than dynamic bones. All players get profiles that have a profile picture and a bio about themselves. VRChat will have to upload and save images. This is currently for only VRChat Plus, though it's planned to branch out for everyone once more features can be added. VRChat Plus user can use these images for invites. Invites are getting reworked, making it easier to send multiple repeat invites that are identical. Social menu profile pictures for VRChat Plus users. What is the difference between this photo and the profile picture? I don't know! I guess it's the fact that this one's optional. Custom status is on your nameplate now. You can toggle it off. Groups! TLDR, you can have your clan tag name. Mega Sugoi. Groups have a leader, mods, moderators, followers. You can join or follow a group. Groups can be public for anyone to join, privates for invite only, and in between. What does that mean? I don't know. Groups can be searched and discovered if they want to, and members can hide that they're part of a group if they want to. Number I have no clue. Creator economy. You could have a tier 3 sub to your favorite content creator. This allows creators to open up more options on what people get from their content. This isn't fully fleshed out yet, so there are a lot of different ideas, but the solid plan right now is that you can give the creator your support money known as user-to-user -user subscriptions. You give your money to me, I give you special things to others don't get unless they also give me money. Udon networking update. Udon will be able to send updates to the VR chat network so when other players join they see the exact same thing even if they're late. Example shown, boxes being knocked over, also counts for drawing. Persistence! Keep world save as a copy for players to join. Also, avatar stats that can carry over as well. Think of like D&D, &D, or if you're playing Pokemon, you could save the Pokemon you caught, or you could save your stats that you've experienced so far. Package manager! I'm still confused. Here's a picture. SDK iteration speed. Worlds being worked on to get updated right away when you upload them, instead of having to reload everything. Client debugging. Menu to look at debugging in game. World jams. VR chat will be doing world jam events to gather the community closer. During these jams, there will be a game jam row in the world tab that everyone could see. These worlds will skip the community to labs. <gasps> Small things. We're getting gifts. OSC input. Head tracking and blend shapes from iPhone camera for desktop users. Stream camera. Desktop 3D camera. Tunneling effect. It tunnels your camera vision to reduce the amount of motion sickness for certain worlds. Regions. Regional servers will help ping for those not in the USA. Starting with Europe and Japan servers. Unity 2019. Ah! Account security. Two-factor authentication. That is all. They're also open for job resumes. <laughs> Row 20! Woo! And that's the fastest video I've ever done. I hope you all enjoy it. Have a great day. Make sure to drink your water, eat your broccoli. See you on the next video. <laughs>
Hello everybody, this is Nua Wants. I know that I said the video was over, but I actually lied about that. I know, I'm a liar. But I pretty much wanted to actually add my own thoughts about these new things coming out at the end of the video. And there was absolutely no need for me to do it the way I did, but I did it anyways because I thought it'd be funny. I don't know if it's funny. Uh, tell me if it's funny. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, in terms of all these new systems, I'm kind of excited for some of them. I'm really excited for the user to user subscriptions. That's going to be an amazing addition to the game. I am concerned because considering we have a lot of people who are able to break and hack into the game, I am wondering if that's going to also be an issue where people are going to be faking currencies or being able to connect to other people's currencies and take them. I really hope that while I want it sooner rather than later, they take the time to actually figure out a very safe, foolproof way because nothing would be worse than getting scammed in that way. We also were talking about this particular thing with things like casinos, conventions, etc. This will open up a lot more interesting but dangerous ideas. I think it's a really cool idea. I There are very few downsides, but there are very serious downsides to it. So that one I am looking forward to seeing as it goes on. Right now I am excited for it. I am really hopeful. I can't wait to support the content creators that I love. I do understand why the 2019 update has to happen, though it still is going to be my biggest pet peeve. It was a big pain moving everything from 2017 to 2018, and I had a lot of plans and was working on a lot of different worlds, and this update has completely killed my motivation. I wish they would have at least maybe talked a little bit more about the transfer over. Maybe it would be easier. They may have said something, I don't know. I was also kind of half watching TikTok, but... I didn't hear anything, and when I was talking to other friends who watched it, they didn't hear anything either. I would like to hear exactly what the plan is moving from 2018 to 2019, how much easier it'll be if it'll be a simple transition or if it's going to cause problems. Obviously, there are going to be some minor problems. I'm expecting that, but I really hope that I don't have to go back to worlds that are already loaded and I've deleted the files to and be completely unusable. Another one that I'm really excited for is the World Jams option. I know that uh, Prefabs has World Jams every month, I believe, and now the fact that VRChat's doing it, I can only see it going up from here. This is a fantastic way for new world creators and old world creators to meet, get new ideas, get inspired, and just overall have fun. I really, really like this, and I cannot wait to see it. I've been talking about VRChat having a community-based event for the longest time, and the fact that it's now coming out, is making me overjoyed. In terms of groups, I was originally against it. I didn't like the idea. I hated it. I thought it was going to be an issue with clicks. I thought it was going to be an issue where people were using it for their crasher groups, for their toxic groups, I making this whole hierarchy issue. I didn't think it would be worth making. But as Tupper did explain it, I am now actually kind of excited for groups. The thing was, these groups can help new users meet other people without having to go to public worlds and rolling the dice. This is amazing because one of the biggest issues VRChat has right now is public worlds are extremely toxic and very messy. They are filled with people who just want to meme out and be rude and start problems and for a new player, that could completely turn them off to the game. This may help. Because now you can say you like Pokemon, for example, and then you can go in and find a Pokemon group and then meet other Pokemon people. Once again, this also helps with groups like IDA, Virtual Pantheon, etc. Where if you like to dance, you like to watch dancing, you can find those groups, join them, and have a grand old time. But yeah, I don't want to take too much time up from this video. I just want to know what do you all think was the best release and the worst release from this video a few days ago? Because like I said, I think the user to user subscription is probably the best. And honestly, for the worst, I honestly think it's going to be the, um, what is it called? Where you have your social status in your name tag. I, I think that is kind of ridiculous, very bulky, but you can turn it off. So at least we have that. Once again, y'all, make sure to drink your water, eat your broccoli, and have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video, my friends.